What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough right here on our Gym Leader Draven channel. Okay, so I decided, since I failed to go get that Snorlax on Celadon City, I might as well go right here in Lavender Town and make my way to Fuchsia City the long way. I mean, I could have gone to Cycling Road, it would have been an easy thing, but I kind of want to go the long way, that way, you know. Go all the way back up to the hill in the cycling road and then all the way to Saffron City. You know, that kind of stuff. Alright, so let's continue right here. Um, let's see. Well, we're in the creepy town of Lavender. Really don't want to be here any longer because it's creepy. It sounds creepy. And here we are in a new route. I can't remember what it was called. Wait, let's see. Let's see. Route 12 north to Lavender Town. Huh, okay. And, you know, this is a very good place to actually uh, fish for some Pokemon. You can find Goldines, Magikarp, you know, that, kind of, that kind of Pokemon right there. Now let's go up here and see who we have. Talk to this girl. My Pokemon's ashes are stored in the Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. And we got the TM39, and let's see what she says. It's called Swift. It's very accurate, so use it during battles you can't afford to lose. Oh, that is a very, very good move, especially for this time in Generation 1. Now, let's take a look at the binoculars right here, and it says a man is fishing. That is good. That's awesome, man. What does this have? Look into the binoculars, and it's the Pokemon Tower. Alright, it's looking at the, some of the few things right there that, you know, we'll probably see. So, let's go back out here, and here we are. Route 12, I think. And we're going to be battling a buttload of Pokemon, so... The main Pokemon that I'm going to be training is Dubasaur and Sparky, and you know what, maybe Hydra as well because they're still in the, in the level 20s, kind of want to get them up to level 30s, remember in Pokemon Yellow, the 5th and 6th gym leader, yeah, level 50s, by some strange reason they're at level 50s, that's like a major level boost right there, so here we have a Fisherman coming out with his Golding, and I'm just uh, here with Dubasaur, Dubasaur, Mega Drain. Thank Erica for that one right there. You know, she helped me out a lot. And that nearly beats it. And, uh, yeah. Probably should have done that after this. This person's pack attack. But, no problem at all. Goldings finish. I'm feeling good. And then, uh, Fisherman's coming out with his Polyrath. So, I'm just gonna continue on with the Dubasaur right here. So, better not waste all of my, uh, my Mega Drain right here. Just 10, 10 HP or 10 PP right here. And, uh, look at that. Killed up my Pokemon. Enemy fainted. Dubasaur winning. And here we have another Golding, so... Let's see. Oh, yeah, we got Vinewood, too, so... I can use that. I can use that. And, uh, that was super effective, but... Look at that. We we're still getting, uh, poked by a Peck attack. And, uh, there we go again. Super effective. Does not heal us completely, but, you know, it's a very good move to have now, and... Dubasaur grows to level 27. That is great. That is awesome. He's like, Fisk. Just a small fry. Okay. Well, I'm not really a little small fry right here. <gasps> I'm a big fry. I don't know. A friend calls me fat fry. Which, you know, I'm not really fat at all. I mean... Goddamn, I work out a lot. So, here we have another person saying that we're like a small fish in a big pond or something. I don't know. Fisherman wants to fight and he's coming out with a tentacle. That is a somewhat of a disadvantage for me because Tentacle is also a, a poison type Pokemon. So, it's just going to be like, who can resist more poison type attacks? Look at that. Cut attacks. And this guy's going with his poison sting. Good thing Dubasaur is also a poison type Pokemon, so it won't be poison at all. And, uh, oh, come on. Just let me win. It's your destiny to let me win. And it was. It is. Look at that. Dubasaur's winning. Coming out with another Golding. So I got a move for you, Golding. Right here. Mega Drain. Heal my Pokemon right now. Look at that. Oh, come on. Should've made him faint. I guess Dubasaur's not that strong enough right now. Okay. So, another final one. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Draven wins again. Look at that. Okay, okay. So, let us move forward because I don't need a battle. Now, this route right here, plus the other few routes that we have to go to to get to uh, Fuchsia City, is a long one. So, we might see like a three-parter episode right here, guys. I don't know. 
And this guy's like, the fishing fool versus the Pokemon kid. Oh, this is a new one. I don't remember him saying that. Uh, well, whatever. Let's go. Let's do this. Coming out with a Goldie. I'm going to come out with Sparky the Pikachu because I got this. Thunderbolt attack for the win. Oh, yeah. Sounds good. Sounds really, really good. That's an easy victory. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, you are a fishing fool. A huge fishing fool. He's like, too much. It's too much sauce, homeboy. Too much sauce. Okay, so do we have another Pokemon train right here? I, yeah, we have another Pokemon train. So, now let's give Sparky another battle right here. He's like, I'd rather be working. Huh, then why are you classified as a fisherman? I just want to know that. Just asking for a friend, you know? So he's coming out with his polywag. I'm coming out with Pikachu, because Pikachu is awesome. And here we go, Thunderbolt. Oh yeah, love the sound of that. Really do, I really do love the sound of, of Thunderbolt in the mornings. Not really, it's not really, well, it's, over here it is the morning. By the time I'm recording this, and there's another Thunderbolt, another victory for us. Oh yeah, Sparky, kicking some butt, major butt. And I might as well give Dubasaur some more love, since it's the, the next Pokemon, well, it is a Pokemon that is closely evolving, very, very close. Let's see what finally does. If it makes a faint real right away, I'm gonna be really, really angry. Nope. Okay. And there's that peg attack again. I'm just saving that. Uh, I'm, I'm saving the, that mega drain for uh, something later on in this whole thing. And coming out with the horse team. And let's go back to another vibe whip. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, come on. You fainted, man. You should have fainted. You know what that means? Dubasaur needs to gain more levels because he's not strong enough. And, man, maybe I have been ignoring it just a little bit. But it's because we were at Celadon City. It's all grass-type Pokemon. Yeah, it's not easy being cheesy, huh? Not easy. And uh, that is like, what, four or five trainers in the last minute or so. And... I think there's one... No, there's another. I thought there was a trainer right there. And... Would you look at that? We're gonna finish this episode right here, guys, with uh, <laughs> going after this this uh, Snorlax. Now, remember, in the last episode, I believe, yeah, we we did not we did not capture that Snorlax. It was like our greatest failure, and uh, I, I need to do something to rectify this whole situation. So, <sighs> okay, okay. What do we do? What do we do? Okay, so I right. Yeah, we gotta we gotta worry about we gotta worry about uh, Snorlax's uh, rest attack because it always heals up its uh, its attack or it always heals up its HP. And the other thing is that it always uses the amnesia, so any kind of special attacks will not really hurt it. So it's very susceptible to physical attacks. So I'm gonna start it off with Pikachu. I'm gonna save the game right now. Look at that, first time in in a while that you're seeing me save a game right here. Because I really want to capture this one. I think I have plans for this one Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and use that Poke food. Oh yeah. You know, even I would wake up to that. It's a soothing noise. That's right. Wake up, Snorlax! Slap slap. Snorlax woke up. It attack in the grumpy range. So here we go. Battle number two against Snorlax. Alright. So as you can see, a level 30 Pokemon, and let's start it off with some Thunder Wave right now. Let's paralyze the crap out of it. I know it's going to go to uh, to its rest, like right now. Well, I'm going to just do some body snap right here. Come on. Ah, jeez. Okay. So while it's asleep, I, it gives me enough, enough time to actually hit it, keep it, you know, keep it down for a little bit. You know what? I might as well use Double Team 2 because it is a very, very strong attacker and I don't want Pikachu to be hit. So, if I'm raising my evasion. While he's raising his special defense, or his special basically, because in Generation 1 there's no such thing as uh, special defense or attack. Alright, we're both being strategically uh, awesome. Alright. That's right, you can't hit Sparky. Oh, come on! How in the... You got lucky. You got lucky. 
Oh god. I gotta go with one more. Gotta go with one more. Come on. And, oh Jesus. Criminy. Okay, so I really have to hit this guy right now. He got lucky. It's probably because it's big, so it's paralyzed, it's fully paralyzed. There we go. Now let's go with a little bit of body slam. And well, if I use body well, I gotta use body slam. Okay. It is time. Okay, come on. Come on, sweet baby Jesus. Come on, sweet baby Jesus. Come on! Oh, come on, no, just stay in the Pokeball. All right, here we go again with the Great Ball. Come on, come on, sweet, oh, come on, stay in there. And there goes Pikachu. Well, let's see, who's the next good Pokemon that will not be hurt? Uh, I'm gonna go with Thrasher here since it is bulky. All right, come on, sweet baby Jesus. Stay in the Pokeball. Oh, come on. Ugh. I'm just gonna keep on throwing uh, Great Ball right here. This guy will not stay in that Great Ball. Ugh. Come on. Oh, come on. Uh, come on. Give me two. Give me two. Stay in there. Really? This Snorlax is a very, very stubborn one. Well, like the last Snorlax that I tried to capture, I didn't even throw a freaking Great Ball at all. There we go. Two. Stand there! Yes! Suck it, Snorlax! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Okay, so that felt good. That felt super good. Snorlax the sleeping Pokemon. It is 6'11", 1,014 pounds. That is a big mofo. He's like, it will eat anything even if its food happens to be a little moldy. It will never get in a, well, it never gets an upset stomach. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Do you want to give a nickname to Snorlax? Yes, I do, because eventually, I will be using this guy as one of my Pokemon teammates. So, let's see. What is a good name for this Snorlax right here? I don't know. I could name him Yokozuna. Probably Yokozuna, right? I don't know. Big Show? After the Big Show? It's big. It's big and it's like unmovable and it's, you know, it's bad. I'm trying to think of the biggest, uh, oh, you know, you know what? Here we go. There we go. I'm gonna name this guy Tank. Tank is going to box number two, I think. So, there you go, guys. We've captured uh, Snorlax, and, uh, you know, one of these Pokemon is going straight to the PC because, uh, you know, I decided to I decided to up, up, well, up the ante just a little bit with a newer Pokemon. It will actually help us out in the long run. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, you guys will see or you guys will find out which Pokemon will be going into the PC and be replaced by Snorlax. Thank you, guys.